Is it any wonder Oxford University won the varsity match this season? They had the man of the match and captain John Carter, Wayne Thompson coaching the front row, Marco Wenzel analysing the lineouts, and England and Saros fly half Charlie Hodgson fine tuning their point scoring machines. You will, think? Yeah, not man, either. Guys, this is Charlie. Uh, you just introduce yourselves as, as you go along. He's going to coach them off the floor, place kicking and some uh, out of hand kicking for the next sort of hour or so. Oh, yeah. Kaz. 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 Your approach to the ball is actually quite you're quite you're quite narrow, so when you yeah. when you approach the ball from here, to get a lot of power from your leg, you're asking a lot of yourself to be in there. Yeah. You're almost hitting on top of the ball. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So ideally a lot of the power you need is, is obviously from your hips. For you to then swing through and hit and hit towards your target. If you let's just say from there, think how much power you can get yeah, from yeah. that compared to obviously swinging your leg around and ending up there. So the only thing is I just give yourself slightly more room. Wider. Yeah, so obviously because because you're from there, yeah. and the reason why you're then pushing it is because you're trying to you compensate for for that, make that space for yourself. Okay. So you, you're almost falling off it, yeah. and that's why you're pushing it across okay. the side. Just, Just give yourself a bit more room so you can hit from there and still come through it. Okay. So tell us how this came about, how you ended up coaching at Oxford. So the RPA, um, they were they wanted to get um, professional players involved in in coaching, um, and in particular Oxford here. And I think they spoke to John Carter and, and, and JC spoke to me and wondered if I'd be interested in coaching something I enjoy. Um, it's good for the CV, it's good experience for me for, when I'm, for, for life after rugby because I'm not getting any younger now and it's time to think about something else. So rather than kicking like this, kicking and stopping and stopping and like almost falling back, yeah. just, just, just kick, run and like that and take a few more steps towards the post. Yeah. It's, it's purely about about your body weight transferring towards your target. So how did the boys rate him then? What do you reckon as a coach? Oh, they all came off smiling. So, uh, yeah, I think he was very motivating. and um, I, I'm excited to see how their kicks go now. Uh, I can only see one ball. I'm sure it came out with ten minutes, shall we? So where, where have they all gone? What's setting on them? No, OK. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> I mean, a name like Charlie Hodgson, you're going to have a bit of a reaction and uh, probably one of the largest turnouts we've had all season. So When you hear these big names, you sort of wonder what they're like, but uh, he's just a, a normal guy. So he's, yeah, a really nice nice guy to talk to and stuff and uh, very helpful. I mean, he was teaching a batch of guys that maybe never really been taught how to kick properly before. Um, so he really was just getting a few key ideas across, not overloading us with too much information. So well, he was very good. So JC, what is the likelihood, do you think, of one day getting this lad down to Oxford? You seem positive before, but he doesn't seem quite so positive. Oh, I haven't had a uh, private conversation with him yet. I've not managed to use my course to uh, manipulate him into applying for a course yet. So, we'll see. Do you know what he's studying? Psychology, is it? Yeah, well, psych yeah, psychoanalysis. So hopefully that'll uh, benefit me when I try and persuade him. We've offered all kinds of MAs and NFILs and DFILs. I think one of the boys has offered to pay for him as well and fund his living expenses, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen. But Are you in the same sort of academic class as JC? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm very intelligent when it comes to talking about like, uh, degrees and stuff. Wow. Still trying to play. It's like, give it up. Yeah. He, should, he must have had about 15 operations on his shoulders and he's still trying to play. Well, uh, you know, I had to look after our tens at the, uh, <laughs> the old club, so I'm a bit bruised and battered from that. Chabal, wasn't it? <laughs> Was Cheval his icon or something when he was there? Uh, uh, he, he is Cheval's icon. The state of his hair, that beard's getting bigger and bigger, isn't it? I'd like some of his hair. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely like some of his hair. <laughs>